They actually came in, they came in yesterday. We were supposed to get them on Tuesdays, and lately I've been getting them on Mondays. UPS delivers Saturdays now, but not to businesses. They still have Saturday deliveries, but anything that's still in, that, that's still there, is still put on the truck. Whatever lackey they get to do Saturdays, they don't do extra. They just do, oh, this is Saturdays, that's it. Well, now that the holiday is going, my regular UPS driver, when he's done with the size delivery, he's got a little extra time. He'll go and take whatever else is on his truck and come in, and because I'm right off the highway, he's coming by the highway. He comes in and drops off, drops off for us, and uh, just to, so we can get a head start. But it also gets, you know, five, six heavy packages off his off his truck from Monday, so it makes his Monday easier. So when it's not the regular UPS driver, they won't come on a Saturday. It, it stays on the truck till it stays on the truck till later. The other guys just do what they're do what they're told. No extra. Well, God forbid someone takes the extra step and tries to get something else done. Um, this is American workers. Yeah, you know it's. Uh, so yeah, you do as little as you possibly can. Hey, we'll see you later. Thank you very much. Most of the time they come on Tuesdays. I I I close on Tuesday, so I mean it's it's pretty much it's supposedly my day off. Usually I have to come down for three or four hours and do subscriptions and get everything ready for Wednesday. So now when I leave Monday night, I'll put the stuff on the shelf because I'm not opening on Tuesday. I'll have everything I'll have everything done and I'll actually have a full day off for uh, for Tuesday where I won't have to do any anything. It'll be an actual day off like most people get in the world. I get them early, it's great. When the stores close, I can spread the stuff all over the place and, and get everything alphabetical order. That's okay. I mean, it's it's something to do during the day between customers, get the stuff ready and I've got a day off. So it's yeah, it's worth it. I thought the show was getting stale. Yep. Big time. And this at least brings him in a different direction and gives them something to do. It leaves okay. it open that he can still do something. Well, they say he's going to do mo the movie. Yeah, they're yeah. doing like two or three movies or something like that. That's the only way he's coming back, is in the movie. I don't blame him. I mean, what is it, nine seasons now? What else is he doing? No, I know. Well, I'm sure. What else I'm sure he, he'd like else? to be doing something else. What else has he ever done? Andrew Lincoln should be should thank everyone on Walking Dead that they actually gave him a job. I mean, if it was about want to do other things, you can do other things between taping. This is a steady <coughs> paycheck year That's after true. year. How it, you know, it's. Uh, we'll know how it went based on how fast it is that he comes back. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? If he's back next season, you know it didn't go very well. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I read the same thing that they're doing like two or three yeah. spin-off movies or something like that. Yeah, I heard um, that too. Which I, you know, it just made sense. Because the other, the gir other girl left too. Yeah, but um, they didn't even give her. Have you seen it at all? Yeah, I, but I, they didn't. I, I, like, oh, I she left. Watched it. I just, <laughs> I just heard, but they say she's coming back. Like, yeah. Well, she, I think she, she wanted the, she wanted, she wanted his it. money. Yeah. yeah. She's on the TV screen for, you know, one one hundredth of what Rick's yeah. on. She wants Rick's money. Yeah. yeah. You know something? Recast. Well, she didn't want it. You can right, right, you're right. You can get you can get better. another idiot to play Maggie. It doesn't matter. Well, they'll what they'll probably do is see how the show goes without him. And yep. If the ratings are still up there, they'll can her in a heartbeat. It's like yeah. you don't no, matter. Yeah, if he don't doesn't matter, matter you don't matter. Yeah. That's that's who they're gonna make the yeah. Darryl. But I, I don't know. I thought it was. You should watch it. It's it's interesting. Yeah, I, I felt. Like I got them taped. I just haven't. The I just show haven't. just got stale. I think, and this kind of gives them a reason to do something different. Are we still seeing Negan? Oh yeah. Then that's 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 all that I so need. So a I, nutshell I, version. Well, I don't want to tell you. Yeah, you should watch. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, want to tell yeah, you. We don't have to give it up. It's good. It's it's worth watching. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad, but it's it's at least something. Yeah. No, I wish they kept friggin' uh, Carl alive, though. That's what too. pisses me off. Keep Carl alive. What I'd, are rather you doing? Rick, I'd rather see Rick dead, because Carl would totally. be a badass. I, I, mean, I know Carl that Carl is beginning. 87 feet tall yeah. now and, and has a baritone voice. Well, now they got the daughter. Well, shh. Yeah, yeah. Come yeah, on, no, I, know, I know they fast oh, forwarded. They fast forwarded. Yeah, they fast forwarded now. The, now. Like, the daughter needed to die, too. Yeah, but she's going to. See, I think it's kind of interesting, though. But she's going to be the new Carl. Yeah, she kind of picks up. You know, the TV show wants probably diversity. So they, like the right. second main character will be the little girl. Yeah, the, and the As little the girl is kind of. Hey, you know something? You had your diversity with Michonne being a black female badass. You had the ultimate bad female. But now it's uh, still Walking Dead. Right, Rick uh. it will be Daryl. But I get why they got rid of Carl because he was thirty-eight years well, old. Well, I think Carl wanted. I think Carl wanted to go to school or something too. Yeah, fair enough, man. Right, right, right. You know, You've been on that show since you were eight. Right. And now you're what, again, 15 though, or whatever. Again, you want, though, school will always be there. Take the steady paycheck till you're done. Right. Then and go to school. And Macaulay talking it up. Yeah. What to go wrong? Carl obviously wanted to quit something to go to school. It sounds like he's got more brains than Macaulay yeah, yeah. Culkin ever had. That's true. You, you know, it's, and uh, the parents, maybe. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. parents, right? You won't have to divorce them at, uh, you know, fifteen or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> he's sure, not sure around with Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. How did that go wrong? Just saying. No harm, no foul there. <laughs>
I hate kids in those type of movie, in those type of shows. Lynn just hates kids. Oh, yeah, I was, I, was, I would have rather seen. You can just cut it right there. I hate, kids, <laughs> I hate kids in those shows. <laughs> I would have. Begin- rather <laughs> seen the beginning of the episode and yeah. the end of the episode. Yeah. Yeah. I damn kids doing this kid. movie. I would have rather seen the kid kids. dead. Keep Carl alive. <laughs> Carl was so much cooler than Rick by yeah. the end. You know, oh yeah, Rick was a whining little bitch. What's that? I mean, Rick needed to go. Carl did the first episode. I did. Yeah, I hated Carl for like the first three seasons. I couldn't stand him. He was a cool character in that last season, especially. I'm gonna miss the dynamics of Carl talking to talking to Negan like they did in the comics. Well, and, and, you know, and, the daughter's just gonna kind of take that role. The daughter was like three, you know, yeah, and well, now she's doesn't remember. Yeah, yeah but Negan. doesn't remember Negan. Yeah, you know, as I mean, no, they, that's true. they didn't you're have right. that relationship. Right. You know, no, yeah, it's, that's true. I'm sure they're coming up with some way to to fill in the gaps. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, they all have like. Yeah, we'll move on. Yeah. <laughs> you you watch them, way. we'll come back, we'll, we'll break them all down. Yeah. I can we'll see do flashbacks in the future. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, because, hey, there could be some people who, who on this tape, too, that hasn't watched it. We, we gotta That's make right, sure we, you we, give them. Right, we don't you wanna give them. Hey, you have somebody. You just have somebody, a, big, a big bar hey, that says spoilers. The, the, the shit's been out for four weeks. Yeah, you, if, if, you're you're fan, if you talk about it, if you talk it. about it and you give away something to me, it's my own fault that yeah. I haven't watched it. I get if it just came on last night and you start to say, hey, guess who died today? Hey, quiet. You, we don't, right. you haven't had that time to... Yeah, time everyone to has play. a life. Not, right. not everyone watches it that night. Right. I Although think Sheila said it as, it's, it was Rick, it was Daryl, and it was her. Yeah. The, those are the big three. Yeah. I, I don't think I would... Yeah, yeah I think, I think Michonne would be, would, yeah, would be there. To me, it would be, it would be Rick, Daryl, Michonne. Right. In that order. And then I don't even know if Maggie even did it. I don't uh, even know Negan if Maggie's would in the be top five. Ne- Negan had more screen Negan's time than, than, than Carl than would have been above that yep. when he was alive. Yeah. Have they killed the governor? Oh, oh yeah, he governor. died. Did he die? <laughs> yeah. Because I wanted yeah. a governor versus Negan battle. That was yeah, good. no, he died. He, he got in a battle of similar storylines. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Let's see which one's worse. And then the leader of the uh, Alpha or whatever yeah. from the Whispers, and then yeah. they can be on their way. Well, they're starting the Whispers now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's I, what I mean. So it's kind of interesting now that they've, you know, they've. Because they had it on last way week. forward, and now it's the whispers kind of. They had it on last week or the week before, or whatever. And uh, um, I mean, I was taping it. I turned the TV on, and it was on that. It was at that time. It was on channel. And I saw one of the girls running around, and I heard the I heard yeah. the zombies talking. Turn so I says, around. yeah. <laughs> so I said, oh, the, oh, good. They're doing the whispers. Yeah. They're doing the whispers now. It should be interesting. Could be. Because I wasn't a huge fan of that storyline in the in the comics. I thought it was well. It was like it was all right. Just when they. Or well, the first part people, of it yeah. was really good, yeah. but then like what came it, after that? It's always like, yeah. what happens. It's the world. same shit Certainly. over and over and over again. Yep. But even the new storyline with them in the in the uh, Commonwealth or whatever. Yeah. It's like I've seen this story, no, right. man. No. I've seen the story for the for the fifth time in a Actually, row. Hey, did you see the error? One. Did you see the error in the comic? They drew Rick with two hands in in, in, one, in one of the scenes. Yeah, it's, maybe uh, they're watching the TV show. <laughs> he's walking to a jail cell. He's got his stub. He's got his stub hand. Yep. His little claw. Well, that was going to say, he's got the robot arm. Yeah, right, right. So. He's got his little robot arm. Groovy. And then he goes up to talk to um, Burnt Guy there, Crispy. Uh, uh, Dwight. Dwight, right? And, uh, from the office. So, <laughs> Dwight from the office. He's just, yeah. you know. Yeah, so... Uh, so the <laughs> <laughs> he goes up to Dwight, and he grabs onto the, he grabs onto the to two bars. He goes, what are you doing? And and they There's drew they hands. drew both hands yeah Whoops. they drew both hands the Korean animators will have to get yeah. shot I'm I'm actually wondering what does the editor do does it, does the editor actually look yeah. at the stuff I mean oh, I guess some things get through right oh, yeah. that's yeah. kind of a big I'll be honest with you I didn't notice it at all no, I a customer wouldn't. actually I'm so a dense, customer told notice. me about it and he only noticed it because someone online posted it and said hey look at Look at this. Uh, it's such a quick read that you would think. Oh yeah, no, they, they, but you actually have to be looking. And sometimes it's such a quick read, you just read it and you forget to even look at yep. some of the pictures. Um, so you see him walk in. You see him walk into the j- into the jail cell area, and you kind of just stop paying attention. Right. You read what goes on. You just go to the next page. Hard enough that the art's always similar, and the, yeah. there's nothing usually, you know. Right. You can kind of skim through the Walking Dead to the last page. Yeah. And then they do something shocking. Actually, yeah, I can read longer. the Walking Dead. I can read the Walking Dead book going from here out to my car. Right. It's uh, you know, I mean, that, that's how fast of a read it is. And if I decide to, I'm going to pay attention to the artwork. I may sit in the car for a second and be able to look at the rest. So it's the same friggin' storyline again. Yeah. Like the Commonwealth thing is like, I know where this is going. Yep. Prove, I, prove me wrong. That's why I like the first twenty issues. Oh yeah, the, the first, Dead the first awesome. like three trades yeah. were amazing. But then it's and then it's got repetitive. Then it got circled. Yep. Circle. We meet someone. Oh, they could be good. 
They might be good. Oh, they're bad. Let's fight them. Let's okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll once look. you got to the governor, yeah. right? Once that once the governor storyline ended, it just then then the and the recycling like, started yeah, to happen. The can of holes yeah. Yeah, it was just the same story over and over and over and over. Well, in the TV show, The Cannibals were like the worst storyline. I freaking hated that story. Well, they had to cram it in. That was so dumb. It worked more. It worked more in the book. Oh, it worked way more in the book. And it's funny. We had to get we had to get Bob. We had to get Bob to get eaten too. You know, in the comic, they ate Dale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Dale was already dead because he was already a dick. He was already a dick. You fired this guy. I get fired too. We don't need Joe. Is that what happened? There was a reason for him yeah. going or whatever? Yeah, he complained. Then it became such the hit. It wasn't yet a uh, super... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, it yeah, was what, they season They killed him two. off season two, right? Yeah. So um, when they fired... Um, who was the showrunner? Daramont or... Oh, uh, Frank, yeah. Frank uh, Dar- uh, Darabont. Darabont, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, Punisher. When, yeah I think when they, fired, when they fired him, he was friends with him or whatever, and he's the one that got him on. No, got so him on. Like and he goes, he goes, I don't want to be on this. If you got rid of him... And they went, okay. <laughs> then, uh, yeah. yeah, your character yeah. is sea level at best. And then Sorry. after, well, then after he, I think he saw how season two was going. You, yeah, you know, yeah. he goes, "Hey, uh, I may have misspoke. It's too late. Yeah, They'd already right. written him out. They already written him out. Yeah, he, you're, you're dying get, in the next yeah, six episodes. Yeah. Your guts. Yep. He's yeah, walking he's there. Hook, yeah. He's got his hook, right? Yep. Comes oh, here. Oh yeah, shit. Got two hands. That's two hands. Oh, how do you let that go? Yeah. Well, I didn't notice it. I read the book. And I, I wouldn't notice. I can guarantee. I promise you, I would not have noticed that. Daryl, what the hell? I mean, uh, Dwight, what are you doing? And yep, and there you go. There's his hand. What are you doing, Rick, with two hands? Yeah. And then back and he's back to his hook down yeah. here again. Yep. That's awkward. That's the <laughs> ultimate nerd thing on the internet. Do right. you see on page seventeen? That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. exactly what it is. Somebody did it. And says I'm the first one who posted this. Oh, I'm going to tell all my did friends. It on purpose, then? What's that? You think they did yeah, it maybe they did it on purpose. Maybe made some fun Yeah, let's let's see, let's see who let's see who catches this. Yeah. Or if and, anyone catches it. Yeah, and maybe maybe it'll get maybe it'll get um maybe it will yeah, get, it, it'll, it'll get people, yeah, people it'll get people yeah it'll get people talking about it. it. Ooh, I had a guy who bought it because of that. Like the, well, the other I guarantee it'll be you know uh, is uh, Kirkman paying attention to the book anymore? Yeah. Or is he too caught up with the movie and the show? And Kirk and Kirk was like, the kid was like, look assholes. Yeah. I wrote wipe my eyes with my millions of dollars. I wrote the I wrote the script. I gave it to the artist. Right. It's it's out of my hands. Right. That's what I have an editor for, you know. Right. That's what I pay that client. What am I paying do. these assholes? Right. For? Every every creator wants to get what Kirkman what Kirkman has has done, and any creator says totally. no, they're lying. Okay, it's, it's like uh. Malar. Once Malar, all his stuff gets put on Netflix. Right. No, good for him. I mean, you don't have to like The Walking Dead, but if you like comics, you should be happy that something like that happened. Yep. Yeah, I mean that brought. But me- I don't like Preacher, the TV show. Yeah, love the book. Probably my favorite book. TV show's all right, but I'm glad it exists because it means that something else might, you know, come up down the road or whatever. Yeah, and the fact that it does exist, it's brought people into stories. Totally. Like, maybe now they'll make Why the Last Man or something like that as a, right. as a show. I think they have. Are they? I think there they you are, go. Yeah. Boom. Something like Preacher still brings people into the shop to say, hey, I want to try the comic. Yeah, totally. And now after they try the comic, maybe they look at something else that catches eye yeah. and they want to read something. Or maybe yeah, they don't, totally. and they just read and they just read the Preacher book yeah. or, or The Walking Dead. But at least it still gets, it still gets people... Yeah, it's a, it's a net positive. Yeah. Whether you like The Walking Dead or any of those shows, it's 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 a positive thing. You get people who, awesome. like, you, you see yeah. coming into the store, like, other, like, customers where it says, ugh, that guy, that guy just comes in to buy Walking Dead, that's all he cares about is Walking Dead. He's not a real fan. Hey, the fact is you're still buying a comic right. book. It, they, you're a fan of that book, at right. least. Yeah, you don't have to um, be a fan of everything. But, it, but it, it's funny how... Of don't most wish, people read. Right. I wish I was only a fan of one book. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Save me some money. <laughs> Comic fans like don't like new comic fans getting into the well, getting so into same the. Well, the same anything though, man. Like if you're a Red Sox fan who's from here, and then you meet a Red Sox fan who was born in Iowa, you bit oh, well you were born in Iowa. Well, you're not a real fan then. And that person could have been to 80 games this season. Right. Right. They could have been. They could have a, a Mookie Betts tattooed on their forearm. Yeah. And it's like, well, you're not from here, oh, so you'll never you be were, as much fan as You, you, you I probably am. weren't watching them when, we, yeah, yeah, when right. they were losing. Oh, if you didn't watch them, yeah. yeah, right. If you didn't yeah. watch them in the mid '90s, then uh, you're not really a fan. Yeah. You know how much money I'd save if I only read comics and didn't play fucking Magic? <laughs> be nice. Not spend all of my money. But who needs it? It's overrated. <laughs> I was just gonna say it is yeah. overrated. Like going to a movie that's three hours long. That's I don't know. Stupid. I'm all set. I want an, I, I want a tight hour and forty five. Well, take out the like the. Promos, even though they got rid of all the bullshit yeah. of the first half an hour of credits. every movie just ever. The, just go to the end scenes. Thirty seconds. And we'll be good. 
I'm trying a new series, Gotham Academy, and I'm also picking up some Magic the Gathering cards. My collection. But I plan on going through this whole series, Volume 1 and 2, if I like it. I recently started collecting comic books, like, three or four weeks ago. I have this and three other ones. Not a lot right now, but maybe someday I'll have a lot. I like Batman, but I got it because, well, Gotham, because I like the TV show Gotham. Lot. I like the characters and how it's like bring you to the past of Batman and the bad people like the Joker, Catgirl, huh? like and it. other yeah, people. I feel like the Suicide Squad Joker is well more like just just like more crazy and has just that taste that makes him feel like Joker, which in the Batman one, it just feels like a villain trying to get away. It's still cool both Jokers, but I prefer Suicide Squad Joker more. Looking at how it is now, I think I could probably read in like 8 minutes, maybe less or more, I don't know. Say 8, probably. The one that caught me interest in the Walking Dead ones and the Star Wars ones. I don't want to get too much today because like um I put me and my stepdad plan on coming like every week looking at it so I might get one every week or something. I don't want to get too many when I come so yeah. I got like three things so that's good for now. <laughs> I did what, what you're doing to me right now is what I did to Stan Lee back in the uh, early 70s. I operated a video camera at Harvard and recorded him giving a lecture. So he's been a part of my life since I was a little kid, I guess. Well, unfortunately, I sort of, I sort of fell on the Kirby side of the Lee versus Kirby debate. If you look at the stuff they did individually, it pretty much sucked. The best work they did was when they worked together. So it was probably like a Lennon-McCartney thing. I think he was the, uh, the evangelist for Marvel. He was out there doing the lectures, you know, uh, promoting, constantly promoting the, uh, the comics and the heroes. And he was out there in the public. He was like the public face of uh, Marvel Comics. And I think he did a great job promoting it. I think of him more of a, of a mascot for like the last, uh, I don't know, even 20 years or so. I don't think he's actually, although he's listed on all those movies, I don't think he really has a lot of input. Bill Maher doing The Impossible last week by, uh, by insulting comic books uh, on Stan Lee's, uh, when Stan Lee's death was announced, Maher said that because of Americans' obsession with comics, uh, we're so stupid, that's why Trump got elected. And Mara did the impossible. He united all the different sides of comic book fandom that have been fighting amongst themselves, all against Mar. <laughs> He's probably never read uh, a comic book in his life, or he hasn't read one recently, so he doesn't know that it's a sophisticated medium. Uh, Bubba Hotep. Uh, Brian Bendis, uh, Pearl, with the tattoo artist. More Spider-Geddon. The Tony Stark uh, Iron Man, which I think Slot's doing a good job on. Uh, the Immortal Hulk, which is my new top book. Uh, best written, best drawn, best thing out there now. It's a completely different approach to the Hulk. It's sort of a supernatural approach where he, he can't be killed, you know, he keeps uh, resurrecting and his powers are strongest in the night. Uh, Doctor Strange, which... Um, How's that going? Mark Wade is doing a great job writing it. He's, he's made 
strange, more of a, you know, uh, approachable, understandable character instead of some guy who just, you know, talking about the, uh, the hoary hosts of Hogarth and stuff like that. And I'm still reading Black Hammer, but the change in artist is real disappointing. It's a little bit on the simplistic side. Um, I sort of like it. I like the, the grit and the uh, detail in it. And um, I think I'll give it a shot. I'm neutral. There's some people who think he's God, and there's some people who thinks he, think he's, uh, you know, a, a complete jerk. I think he, he can do good stuff, he can do bad stuff. It depends on the project. He, he seems to have um, a different set of values than his audience, where he's more in tune with a lot of uh, sort of philosophical viewpoints and stuff that most comic book fans wouldn't have. You know? I think he can be really indulgent, you know, and sort of overdo the stuff that that he thinks is interesting, but it isn't really interesting to anybody else. Some people won't say anything to me if prices went down. Like, I'd probably sell it to you for like, you know, such and such a price, but people only come in and when they see something that should be higher, they'll buy it. Yeah. Up under no, I'm just going to say that you, Tyler, when you come in, you're usually my bad luck guy. Correct. You come in, you help check my magic prices. Most of them are usually going down. So usually usually when you come in, I'll, I'll be, you know, well, actually, it's good that if they're going down that we get them, that we get them to go down because, you know, then they'll, then they'll at least they'll sell. Not too often, though, do you find me the... Do you find me the ones that go up? I think you actually don't do it, then you purposely come in later and, buy, and send in someone in to buy them. Never. You know? So today we brought Bane Fire from $4 to $7. He has a few of those in the case. Unfortunately, we haven't checked Brightling in a while. Those were 16 down to 6 Price him to move. So that's exactly what Glenn says. I cost him money. But yeah. <laughs> but they're definitely not going to sell at 16 No, definitely not going to sell. I mean, why would you? But you know, not one again. Not one person comes in and says, "Hey, you know something? I think this may have gone down or whatever." Um, so I can look it up and say, "You're absolutely right." Hey, I'll sell it to you for six or whatever. But if maybe like, people what are afraid it, to be like, "Hey, I can get yeah. this for a better price yeah. elsewhere." It's like, yeah. I'll just give you that price. Uh, well, that isn't how it works all the time either. I mean, but that, if, exactly. Right. Yeah, but yeah. but if the price is actually like over the price, you know, I mean, yeah, because you, you got people come in and says, "Hey, this thing you got here for six dollars, I can get it five dollars elsewhere." Then buy it. You, you know, it's uh, don't 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 bother me over a buck. But with that said, and what I'm gonna show you right now, Chandra Torts of Defiance, eleven dollars. It's up to thirteen, but it's been in the case for a little while. Keep it eleven. But you're getting a two dollar discount on a yeah. card that's on average thirteen dollars at the moment. So look at that. He's a, he's a hell of a guy. <laughs> Let's find out how much Emrakul is about to go down, seeing that it's getting reprinted. Which yeah, one is that? that fifty dollar guy right there. Let's see yeah. if he's well, that's, going that's down. That's another sucky thing. When they reprint cards, those other cards drop in price. I got some bad news. 50 down to 40. Wow. Oh, hey, that's expected, though. They're reprinting a card, reprinting you know? It, they they just know. announced all the reprints, yeah, like, next week, okay. and the prices are up, so... <laughs> come in and oh. adjust it, and... It's fair. Corey is the official guy. When Corey does not fulfill his duties, I come in and help him out. So I'm the unofficial guy. Of course, it's still going to look like that 20 years from now when I don't look like this. Let me just get them because I'm retarded right now. Okay. Right <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's not the collector's edition unlimited. Yep. Out of stock at 150, but that's maybe why you have it at 80. Yeah, this is a little unplayed. Yep, 80 bucks still staying. Okay, so if that, that, yeah, that's got to be the unlimited version. Yep. Still a good price. Ooh. Oh, Glenn. Oh, that definitely went down. Oh, this is going to be the one that hurts the most, I think, today. Ruined Halo is getting a reprint. It's $40. Let's see. Let's find out. Okay, so that's a Shadow Moor set. So, Phil, can you move in at that out of stock price? <laughs> can you see what that is right there? All these cards, literally, all just changed probably last week. 
And I'm assuming Corey didn't come in and do any prices Corey last week. Corey doesn't come in and ever do prices anymore. He okay, just, I'm the official price. Yeah, he guy just slacks off. The only time he prices when we're putting new stuff up, or let, you know, that's that. Well, at least he does that. Yeah. Uh, so this is getting a reprint in the new set. So it's down like twenty-seven dollars. Down to twenty dollars. Holy so shit! The thing dropped in half. That's that's crazy. Because there's so many right. Like there's gonna be people are gonna be able to get their hands on this. I'm willing to bet that that'll drop. Well, I'll tell you what. The new one when it comes out is only gonna be worth twelve dollars. Yeah. The only reason that's going to be 20 is because it's still the oldest yeah, version. Yeah. Yep. But if you get that in a pack of the next set that comes out, $12. Oh. I'll um, probably watch it at least, like, at least was, once or twice. It was, like, yeah. it was on like two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was on like two weeks. Ago. They, they play it during the summer. They just do Vegas. They do vacation. And it's like one channel plays European. The other one plays the other three. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, so I'm okay because Europeans and I never watch it. I hate. I don't like that one at all. It's my least favorite, but yeah. I'll still watch it if it's on. I enjoyed the. I enjoyed the new one too. With this, with his, like his kids grew up to. That's his, what. That's what. Uh, I think that was just saying. It's like that one's all right. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. I, I heard enjoyed it's all right. it. I haven't seen yeah. it. So. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I don't watch the original one much anymore, though. It's either it's really either I'll either watch Christmas or Vegas. Those are those are actually my two favorite now. I mean, I th and I think it's just because I have watched the original Vacation since it's come out, times. right? Um, you know, probably three times a year, every year since it's come out. That <laughs> that's what the it's 80s, yeah. yeah. You know, so sometimes now it's just nah, I'm I'm good. I don't I don't watch that. But Vegas is coming on. I'll I'll watch that. I'll watch that one yeah. again. But yeah, I didn't know. I never saw the one with um with Uncle Eddie. <laughs> Well, it's like the American Pie movies. You have the American Pie, then you yeah. have, then you have the ones that go, you know, that has Stifler's right. st Stifler's brother in in school exactly. or something, right? You know, it's, it's it really has nothing to do with, you know, Eugene Levy will be the only one yeah. that from the old from the old movie in it. Well, you it's know? Randy it's, Quaid that's the oh, yeah. one in that, which was maybe that's what at least I'm like I might watch that if it's yeah. actually Randy Quaid. And, yeah, you know, I just never got to it. But I'll always watch Christmas right. Vacation during Christmas. I'll watch. Uh, Scrooged. Yeah. I, I just Scrooged. watched a Christmas story the other night. I'll watch Christmas story. Yep. Bad Santa's really grown on me over yeah, the past yeah, few yeah, years. I like Bad Santa. It's, it's really funny. I, I get a yeah. good kick out of that one. I love Jingle I All the Way. I never could get into yeah. Jingle All the Way. I yeah. never. That wasn't you know, so like, when it first came out, I didn't really care for it that much. Yeah. But the the more and more that I that I watched it, the more and more that I like it. You know, yeah, my love father that. loves Jingle All the Way. He watches it all the time. You know, so if if I was, there's sometimes if it's on TV when I go over for dinner with them, and it's on, I'll sit down and watch Jingle All the Way with them. You know, yeah. it's uh, yeah, it's 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 a good movie. Just put the dollar in the thing for oh, yeah, it. Can we give a golf clap to Dig Dug for buying us a candy bar? Golf clap on three. One, two, three. Dave Serpa used to always, he would always, um, do you remember that guy? That Dave, the Dave Serpa guy? Oh, yeah. That's the guy that talks yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, he'd come in and he'd be buying some York peppermint patties and he'd say, hey, can I get you one? Hey, Glenn, can I give you, can I get you one? Sure. Um, so, you know, he goes to pay for it. I said, yeah, just throw mine back in, back into the, <laughs> back into the oh, box now. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not too often that we get, um, that when, when he's actually here taping, that we actually have people come in that's bringing stuff yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's, sure. uh. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, we, we're not taping every day, you know. It's just right. yeah, so it's uh, yeah, so it, it's actually kind of cool that someone brought something in on a day that yeah, the right. camera's here, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how they've been for the, like the last twenty years. Okay. I had them graded like twenty years ago yep. when we first moved to Mass. Yep. And so, you know, other than being twenty years older, those should mostly be right. Like when they say torn cover and tape and yep. the water yep. marks and all that other. It still has that smell of that old paper. <laughs> yeah. So I bought that when it first came out, which would have been in like, I don't know, 68? 68, yeah. Yeah, something like that. I had friends that were really into comics, and I was only kind of into them, but we used to go to a comic shop that was a lot like this, and they were way into Fantastic Four. It was all the Marvel stuff. You know, so I kind of got into Marvel just because of some of the friends that I hung out with. And I wish that I had been smart enough to, like, you know, buy some really nice ones back in the day. But they were all big money, and I mean, I was just a kid. But it's cool. You're in my bubble. I'll let, I'll let you off. This is once. Is this, is this okay? Oh, you're close. <laughs> Some others too, by the way.
You know, you asked me if I had other stuff. Yeah. And, and I, I didn't even realize that I did. Mm -hmm. But through the years, I kind of like grab things here and there. Yeah. And there's another place, and I'm digging some out. So I'll be back. Okay. With some other stuff. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm always interested in looking. You yeah, know, looking sure. at stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's right to tape the whole works. You know, it's uh. Tape, water stains. Yep, this is whoever, whoever looked at them, they, that's, that's correct. Yeah. New books don't have the smell anymore either. They're all on, they're all on a uh, high gloss paper, and yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't, you don't get the. I like what I like with the with the older books to the newer books now is I actually like the, the way the colors sink into the paper, where now with the with the new with the newer books. Everything's bright. If you're sweating a little, you can see fingerprints on it and stuff. You know, and th this is what I like about the old paper. The color kind of sinks in. It looks. I think it looks better. It looks a lot cleaner. You know, it's when I read the books at, the, at my house now. The new stuff. Um, you know, I actually have to. Have, I have a different lamp behind me at a different angle just so it doesn't glare off. Because this time, yeah, if, sure. if, if I sit just like this, yeah. you get the you you get the glare of the light coming back at you. I mean, you actually have to, you know, find. Okay, that. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, that's a good way to read it. You know, it's, yeah. You know, I haven't bought any books in years. And what I remember is I bought a few, like, maybe, I don't know. Let's go back. Like, maybe 15, 20 years, you know, 15 years ago. Not 20 years, but, like, 15 or maybe 10. And it just didn't have the same feel. It was all, I don't know. It was, it wasn't artistic the way, the way that I felt about these were. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, I don't know. It wasn't the same thing, so. There's a lot of artwork that's that's even, that's new today that I like a lot better than the old stuff. I mean, some of it's more realistic, some of it's stuff. Yeah, so but you would know. Um, but you know, something I, mean, I still appreciate and still like a lot of this this type of work. I mean, there's still some backgrounds in it. Some of these guys nowadays, they don't even put backgrounds in their in, in their thing. It's just a character that's just all just colors in the back. At least some of this has some backgrounds and. Uh, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I just the styles now are just so are just so different. But I mean, I, again, things all done on computer and stuff now too. I don't know even know if you can get that if you get this style yeah, sure. with where you're doing it where you're doing it on the computer yeah, anymore sure. either. Sure. Yeah. Yep. That was the one that he said was the best of the lot. You still took for for you buying these off the shelf as a kid. They still they still look pretty good, yeah, you know. I mean, cool. right, right. I mean, they, they, they're not wrinkled up. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't sure. look like you fold them and put them in your yeah, pocket. Sure. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. uh, yeah. um, yeah. And there's no coupons cut out. It's uh. Well, I was trying. I mean, like I said, I had friends that were like way into it, you know. So I, as a kid, as much as a kid can do, I was like, you know, I'm gonna like take care of these and like maybe they'll be worth something someday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This one's a nice. This one's a nice. Is a nice shape too. It's just this one isn't worth as much as that number four what, is. What's yeah, that yeah. all about? Is, um, it, is it just like the rarity? Like yeah. how many were printed? Or? With that, yeah, with that, that's one of it. Um, I mean, number four too. You have this really cool cover, Silver Surfer yeah, going Thor, after sure, Thor. Sure. Um, but I believe number four was a was like a low distribution. Yeah. Okay. For for some for some reason, you know, it's uh, sure. um. And I mean, and that's just it, that's just a that is just a cool looking it's cover. It's a great cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. So I mean, yeah, this is this is this is probably in the same condition or even a little better. Except it's not it's even not, worth it's not even worth half of what this yeah. of this what this is. That's you know, a, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. And that ha and that and and that's a lot of things too. Um, sometimes it could have to do with if there's a first appearance of a character in a book or or um, you know maybe a guest artist or or, or something where. You know, this one book, this one book here could be a five thousand dollar book. The next one you have, oh, three dollars. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's uh, yeah. I mean, there's there's a lot of different, a lot of different things that factor into it. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is always a this is always a nice, just a nice cover. Spider Man and Surfer too. That's always a a popular a popular one. And the only way you know that there's something better than that is if you know somebody that actually goes to a comic shop. You know, the only way I figured that out was because, again, I had friends that knew, 
and we they took me to a, a shop that was a lot like this mm-hmm. and you'd go in and you'd see books that were like old and in really good shape right right and you say wow yep you know that's a thing people that take care of them and put them away and like they're valuable nowadays i get a lot of people coming with stuff too and says hey this is this book is worth four hundred dollars i go Mint it is, yeah, you know, right? Uh, this yeah. book, this book is actually worth ten dollars. Yeah, exactly. No, I've been looking them up online. They're four hundred and three hundred dollars. I go, right? You now you're comparing apples and oranges now. You you know you were you were taking a mint book to a good book, and right. uh, and but and but people don't people don't get it, and they don't listen to it either because all they think is, no, this is a three hundred dollar book. It's not a ten dollar book, and right, and they don't they they don't listen to 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 what it is. They only hear what they what they they want to see the best you know the best thing. Oh. Hey, I wish all my books were mint too. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it just doesn't happen. And uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of people now that you try to you try to teach them, they don't listen. You know, it's uh, eventually a lot of times they'll come back and they'll say, hey, you know, you were right. These aren't worth what you what I thought they were. Um, I'll sell them. Yeah, you know, it's uh, because they went and did some more research and found out. Oh, you're right. There is a difference between something because a lot of times I'll say, you see this book off the that I just pulled off the rack. Does this book look like the book I pulled off the rack? You, you know, it's a. Uh, they're like, no. I go. This is close to near mint. This isn't. But then they say, what? Well, Sixty years old. Years doesn't mean anything on on condition. You, you know, it's it's mint or it's not. You know, it's uh. And then they then it finally, it finally sets in. It's oh, okay. I get I get it now. You know, but yeah, because they're looking at that high that that high price. You know, and uh, don't we all don't we all want it though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh. This is the smell of smell of old paper to go with you know it's it's yeah. i mean and it's not musty it's not i mean you get the musty one still but no it's just a smell of this this is a smell of old paper it's a little acidic. Yeah. or even grab a book from 10 years ago and, and smell it doesn't have unless someone had it in a had it in a basement or whatever and it got a musty smell they must smells the same pretty much with everything but this this doesn't have that much smell. it just has that smell of old of of, of old paper right I was never a huge Silver Surfer fan myself. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's funny how yeah. different, you know, characters, different people like get attracted to them for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was never, I was never really big. Were you a Marvel guy or oh, more was, of a DC? I was guy? definitely a Marvel guy. Yeah, okay. yeah, I was definitely a Marvel guy. I mean, I didn't hate Silver Surfer, but I felt, I felt he was whiny a lot. He whined a lot, and especially you brought him some of the stuff from the '80s. This guy is one of the most powerful, the, one of the most powerful guys around, and he cried more than he ever, yeah, you know, more than anything. Was, that's true. Oh, what was me? I don't have a planet anymore, or I'm stuck like this. Well, he made that deal so he wouldn't eat your planet. I mean, right. did you not think of what was going to happen when you made this? When you made this deal, it's uh, well, for me. I think what it was was that I could get a number one and I could buy it. Oh yeah, right. Yep. You know, you couldn't get Fantastic Four. Right. You know, and that was what all my friends wanted to get was Fantastic Four number one. It's like, oh yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah, exactly. Right. Even at that time, good. Right. You know, totally. good, good luck. That's right. Exactly. And, and even and even back to the time, there weren't a lot of comic shops around. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I mean, I was never. I was actually never into a comic shop until I was an adult. Uh, we didn't really have any around here at all, unless we went into Boston. My parents would drive me into Boston and go to a comic shop. It was like go, go to the. We went to the corner store and the spin rack, and that's where we got this. We got the stuff. It wasn't until I was an adult that I actually ever made it into a comic yep, shop. Yep, yep. I saw them in high school. I mean, again, that's when I was first exposed to that. Yeah. You know, when I saw the price on Fantastic Four number one, I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they used to. They used to be in a lot of books, and maybe not this far back, but I remember when in the seventies. Um, there was always ads of some store. There was some place in Texas, or and there may have been Mile High at that time. I know in the '80s you had Mile High, and you're you're looking at says, "Wow, amazing Spider-Man number one, twenty-three dollars. That's really expensive. Who can pay? Who can afford twenty-three dollars for a for a book?" Right. Wish I had thought about it back yeah, then. No kidding. I guess, yeah. and I guess Superman was like the the big one. Superman number one. Yeah. Right? Is that still kind Action. of like the big? Well, yeah, Action Comics number one is the is the big yeah, is okay. the big one. Yes, yeah, sure. um, yeah, that's still that's still a big one. Uh, one got auctioned off for like over two million dollars or something. You know, they got it graded, so it gets slabbed. They put a grade on it and whatnot. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Um, I can offer two hundred and fifty dollars for this. It seems a little low, but I'm not sure I know. Um, I, I, it's 
I usually try to do like half of what they value yeah, it, at, right? Okay, sure. Well, so the I half see. the half came up to two thirty eight. I I rounded up to two to yeah, two okay. to two fifty. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Okay. All right. We can do that. Yeah. I'll take the two fifty. All right. Yeah. And I'm glad to have them go into somebody's hands that can appreciate them. Yeah. They're. Yeah. We. They're. They're definitely. They're definitely appreciate them, and I'm sure someone else is gonna is gonna. Like a, you know, yeah, like them sure. too, you well, know. You it's, uh, or whoever. Or yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The ones that are going to sell the most is going to be number one will sell because it's number one, but it's going to be the it's going to be the Silver Surfer, the Thor, and the and the Spider Man. Yeah, sure. The rest are actually going to sit for a while. Yeah, I mean, because Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer isn't it's it it's not X Men. You know, yeah. it's uh, where, where 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 that will sell that. It's not Amazing Spider Man. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's totally, uh, totally. so. With that, it's it's a tough it's it's a tough sell. I mean, you you have to find a Silver Surfer fan that's yeah. that's like, oh yeah, you know, yeah, something. I need number six need for twenty dollars. Yeah. Right, right. You know, they'll sit. They're gonna sit for a while, but um, they're still cool to have. They're still cool to have. They are yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah. So I can do that. All right, cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I hate kids and 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 I hate k